If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Welcome back to Drawing a Blank. This week's episode is special. I saw this expression palette, created by Kate Painter, making the rounds on Tumblr again. So I asked my patrons to give me a StarClan Battles character and an expression to go with it. I got so many great suggestions for expressions and characters that I'm actually going to split this episode into two parts just to get through them all. So let's get started. First up, we have Tessu, who started strong with my big fluff boy wild fur and expression F2. Adorable! Of course, it wasn't hard to imagine what kind of situation Wildfur would be in to make this kind of expression. Probably thinking about Spotted Shadow is the only way to get this grumpy guy to make such an unguarded expression. I also wanted to give a bit more context to the mood by drawing a small doodle of Dawn Frost off to the side teasing Wildfur. Maybe Dawn Frost and Wildfur are sharing news at the border of ThunderClan and ShadowClan. Next up is my good friend Water's suggestion of Fern Face with expression I6. And ooh, the sinister vibes I got for this one work perfectly with Fern Face. I took a bit of liberties with adapting the expression of this one to better fit with Fern Face's personality and my own art style. Instead of a crazed toothy grin, Fern Face bites her lower lip. And instead of hard eyes, Fern Face's pupils narrow into slits and gleam with delight. River Clan just tried to steal Wind Clan prey, and Fernface and her patrol sent them running home with a few nasty wounds to remember them by. Fernface's fighting style is reckless and wild, sometimes backfiring and putting herself in as much danger as her opponent, but more often it'll confuse them and drive them back. It's hard to say whether most of that blood on her coat is from River Clan or Fernface herself. Ray of Sunshine suggested Shadow Clan's Golden Boy Sunfire with. A9. A good fit for Sunfire since he enjoys getting into a good fight now and then. I never really thought about warriors with a swollen eye before, but this was pretty fun to draw. It gives me that kind of boxing movie vibe, where you have a pretty tough scrappy guy admiring the shiners he got as a sort of badge of honor. That's the kind of thing we haven't seen in warriors recently, now that I think about it. For a little while during the Power of Three arc, I feel like I remember apprentices talking about wanting to get into fights with other clans so that they could get cool battle scars. Oh man, I kind of want that to make a comeback. This time I put a little quip from Sunfire's mother Hawkstar, and similar to the last one, Sunfire was probably protecting Shadow Clan border from River Clan. Winterflight then asked for Golden Pelt F6. This one was actually a little tricky, since I had a hard time imagining Golden Pelt with this goofy of an expression on his face. But when I instead thought of it as Golden Paw doing this, everything clicked into place. It worked perfectly. So this is definitely pre-Raven Paw and Wild Paw meetup, and Golden Paw has fallen head over heels for his best friend Raven Paw, who seems to share his affections. The two tease each other and flirt constantly, and Honestly, the other apprentices in Wingland are about ready to gag at how hopeless Golden Paw is. We have another Golden Pelt that was suggested by Mushroom Queen with expression I6 again. Since I already did this expression, I took more liberties with it and made it fit Golden Pelt's character a bit more. This time, Golden Pelt has received a battle wound and possibly made a revelation about his attacker. Next up, Avalon suggested Dawn Frost or Swift Mask with expression D5. And while I'm pretty sure she only meant one or the other, I couldn't help but do both. It's a perfect fit for these two being a little awkward around each other, since they're only sort of friends through their friend in common, Wolfthorn. Swift Mask has gotten a slightly updated design since the last time I drew him, thanks to Morwen. I prefer this new look greatly. After all, the addition of big expressive eyebrows is always a blessing in my book. In this situation, I imagine Dawn Frost and Swift Mask are maybe trying to talk about Wolfthorn without saying too much, or maybe are avoiding gazes with Spotted Shadow and Wildfur at a gathering when the two of them are getting a bit too close to each other for these two noble cats to be comfortable with. Bean of the Beanbag gave me free reign to pick any character I wanted with expression F7. Thanks, Beena. 
So once I saw the expression, I knew I had to pick my sweet child jagged stripe. At first I thought maybe it was going to be an expression of how much he loves his mate fern face, but I couldn't let such a cute expression be about a cat as mean and nasty as fern face. So instead it's jagged stripe being bullied by Volfer and being embarrassed for his cowardice. Poor Jaggy. Heart by Storm recommended Wolfthorn with B3. Definitely has some angst to go with this one. Wolfthorn is a pretty chill guy, but he's been through a lot. And although he doesn't let his real emotions show all that often, when you do get a brief glimpse at it, it can be a bit heartbreaking. I took liberties with the expression to make Wolfthorn more downtrodden than angry, but the same kind of bitterness is still there. I love when you can see vulnerable expressions like this in characters. It gives you a window into their thoughts and feelings. Ooh, this next one was fun. Robotics suggested I do Forest Leaf with expression E3. So of course I had to make Forest Leaf yelling at some unfortunate warrior. Forest Leaf is not the kind of deputy who takes discipline lightly, so she looks about ready to murder here. Forest Leaf is a character I've gone back and forth a lot on what exact shade of black to use for her pelt color. I think the last color I used in the height chart was a tad too dark, so I tried something a little different again here. Black colors can be hard to gauge sometimes on what's too dark or too light. You've got to find a good balance. Especially when I use black line work here, I don't want the black fur to make her expression hard to read. But this is also why I accentuate her dark pelt with spots around her eyes and ears to help her expression stay visible. And now for my favorite of the bunch so far, and the last one I'll be doing this time around, we have Safflin, who suggested Kestrel Snap with expression C7. As an animator, a lot of times I think of characters as actors in a scene rather than a still image. Kestrel Snap is a very authority-motivated kind of Shadow Clan queen, so with this expression, I could only imagine Kestrel Snap whipping her head around to locate the cause of some tomfoolery Shadow Clan apprentices are getting into so she can put an end to it. Kestrel Snap's design and characterization is a lot of fun to play around with. I'm sad she's just kind of a background character in Star Clan battles, but hey, it's good to have background characters with fun personalities to play off the main characters when you need them to. Anyway, these were a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing the other half of these in the near future. My patrons did a great job picking expressions that work perfectly for the characters, and boy, I don't think I want to say the word expression for a while after this. <laughs> if you'd like to make suggestions for what I draw in the future, join my patron and jump into the Discord server. There we discuss future episodes, have movie days, talk about spoilers, and lots of other fun stuff. You can even get to see my artwork early if you're supporting at a high enough tier and get to request drawings from me once a month. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and I hope you all remember to please stay inspired.